With Congress negotiating on a relief bill, a public sign of agreement on at least one thing. We're going to stay right here, right here, until we're finished. We will not leave until we get the job done. The job is to send help back home. Congressional leaders and the Treasury Secretary have been negotiating a $900 billion package that would send out another round of direct payments. Expected to be about $600 per adult this time, smaller than the first and without money for kids. It would also fund an extra $300 per week in unemployment benefits and money to help small businesses. Is there going to be a deal? Uh, very likely. I talked today to Pennsylvania uh, Republican Senator Pat uh, Toomey, who says all sides are quite close. He's not a fan of the included stimulus checks, which he called the least efficient way to help people. There's people who are out of work. There are people who are definitely in bad financial circumstances. But someone who's a double income family that never had the slightest interruption of their income, why, why are we sending them $1,200? Would having direct payments in there prevent you from voting for it? Uh, that is not in and of itself a, uh, a, a complete deal killer for me. But some lawmakers, including Senator Bernie Sanders, have pushed for the amount of those checks to be bigger, more like the $1,200 per person you got earlier this year instead of half that this time. Is that where you think it's going to stay, or do you think well, it needs to be larger? Put it this way. I would like for it to be larger, but I, I hope to be able to, to get done what we can. Remember, this is a bridge. President-elect Biden said that he would come with another stimulus program. Congressman Dwight Evans also expecting a deal soon. I think there's a realization that we need to get this done. Uh, and it's been rather embarrassing that we haven't gotten it done. One thing not expected to be in this proposal, money for states and cities that say that the pandemic has really taken a toll on their budgets. That's been controversial. And in fact, even though they took it out of this bill, one of the sticking points still is FEMA disaster funds to help the states. We're going to keep tracking this. And in the next hour, we'll show you what this plan could mean for restaurants and for renters.